so I'm having a quick coffee with Nat, my new girlfriend. Don't tell Fran, for God's sake. She's got a raspberry beret on her head. And Mick Rowley, she was very uh, appreciative of what you said about her. Have a good one. And don't you worry about me, mate. <laughs> I've got my own raspberry beret, believe me, cheekster. <laughs> Used to be a lovely pub there called Route 66 and the barmaid mwah, was someone to die for. Andy, Matt, John, that was a few years ago since we've been in there, innit? Well, do you reckon 20 odd years? I still feel like a total stranger in Western Supermare. So just have to meet friends at the pier, the Grand Pier. Don't sneer <laughs> at the Grand Pier. Don't sneer. <laughs> Couple of lovely scooters, Jess, sir. I always wanted to be a modder in Weston with a beautiful girl on my uh, back of my scooter. That barmaid from Route 66 would have done the trick. Remember Richard Holmes, homo from Nelsey School? He was living in there at some point, he took me into his flat. Interesting, isn't it? So he lives somewhere. Of course, he's moved on and done brilliantly in life. And everyone, eh? <laughs> the old sovereign centre there, right? Let's get and meet the chaps at the pier, eh? Should we have a little look at the old seafront? Hello, Brian. Noddy and Pedro here. Can we give you a ride? Because we hear the barmaid from Route 66 is long gone. Cheeky, right? Right, let's get to the old Grand Pier. There's not much many grander, is there? Some sob once mugged me out of a 30 quid in that window. I used to hang around with some scoundrels, I can tell you. I didn't understand about town life, you know, growing up in a kind of village. Nelsie, I didn't understand the wicked ways of the big bad world. I think uh, David Bowie and Mark Bonham played play there in the pavilion. Right. Where's the chaps to? I used to serve chips in one of these places. I'll tell, show you in a second. Oh, I was a bad lad myself. I wasn't much better. I used to serve boiling hot chips through that hatch. Chuck them on the floor and the seagulls would come down and eat them. Sweat them, burn their mouths and spit them out. Ready, Freddy. You killer queen, you. Ooh, Brian, that was funny. So, we're just at uh, a particular bridge. Fran, what's it called, the bridge? Uh, well, no particular name. No particular name, but there's an interesting story, which Fran's got... Is, it, is there a ghost? Is there hauntings as well, Fran? By local legend. So, I call them... It's a local legend. There's a place where Mr Paley here. He'll be interrupting three robbers. And... Uh, he intercepted them and he didn't die then. <clears throat> he died of his injuries in hospital weeks later and they think that he's it's haunted here. So the policeman here that he intercepted the robbers underneath this bridge. Do you know when that happened roughly, Fran? 18, late 1800s. So that was a late 1800s PC Pavey uh, died from his injuries who was attacked here and there was a, a rumour that he's a ghost about. So the purpose of this bridge, so there was a house there for a bit of road Still exists by name, but not physically because of the new house there. That was built by a, late, a wealthy lady, and this bridge was built for her to extend from, from that house over there to a private zoo that's just there, but it's now now a white. It's called the White House over there. So that was a lady built her Villa Rosa there, which is still the same name but never house. She used to come out of the house and cross over this bridge to the private zoo, which was just there, but now it's another house. Now it's cut off by the council and you can't cross it. So that was the history of the bridge. It was built for the lady for a private zoo, which was there. And now the only zoos us animals here. Yes. <laughs> well, wait till night, Brian. Oh, uh, Nat. 
And here's a beautiful creature. Let me introduce you to Nat. <laughs> a be and there's Villa Roster, yeah? Yeah, so that was, that was a bridge for private scene. That was built there, where that house is now. And that was the, the bridge to the private zoo, which was on the right, which is now another house. Oh, great story. So there as well, oh, lovely, another entrance here. So there we go. A warning of my old girlfriend. <laughs> well, I'm watching them, I tell you. Cross over the road, my friend. Here they come, the beautiful ones. The beautiful ones, here they come. Here they come, the beautiful ones. Grand Prix grannies. Looks rather special, doesn't it? Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Oh, I do like to be beside the prom, 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 where the brass band play chilly on bum, bum. Oh, there's Pedro and Noddy over there. I think I'll go for a ride. Whoa. Used to be called Trapnel's Donkeys, didn't he? I wonder if they were related to Bob Trapnel the Tramp. Ah. Hello, Brian. Come for a ride. Right. I'm going to do back in Bristol City did today. To Hullabaka. Eh? Fry scream, I can tell you. On the head, boy. On the head. See you later, cheeksters. Mwah!